We hold on to the lies To feel free So shackled by smiles So empty We're scared of the war So we've forgotten who we are Yo, what is going on everybody? Danny Exceeds here to bring you a new video. It's going to be how to play ranked TDM. Tips and tricks. The simple things. Uh, one thing I realized from this, you don't have to be the craziest slayer. You don't have to have the sickest shotgun or movement to win this, but you have to have smart IQ. And that's why I'm going to try to bring you guys the basics to help everyone get to masters. Now, the first thing is to rinse spawn. I'm going to talk about back spawn. When you're solo queuing, or even if you're not, back spawn is huge. If, you, if you're all in the backs, you're probably going to be like back here your teammates are going to be like there where you saw me first spawn that's a good like five ten steps behind and that can allow you to see where your teammates are going depending on the map and how you're playing you don't want to have everyone going somewhere or just be like confused and you're going to be because you're not in party chat so utilize that to tell where you should play if you're in back spawn because at the end of the day it's a team game you guys are trying to win that's how you're going to rank up by winning games so utilize that knowledge that you're going to have So the next thing I want to talk about are weapons, power weapons, exactly, because that's how you're going to win the game. It's going to be control of power weapons. So see, like this map in particular, you're going to want to go push for snipe first. At least two or three of your guys are going to want to send there. Because, sorry about that, back my Because this whole map is going to be about up top control, and the only reason that you can really control that is if you honestly have sniper. Because you want up top, so you got that buzz kill, right? So they're up there with the buzz kill, but if I have snipe, you can easily take them out, and then you're going to have a number advantage. You probably have another guy crossing, too, which is going to stop them from crossing, whether it's with the buzzkill, whether it's with their lancer. Like, they're not going to be crossing anymore. And that's how you're going to be able to take up top. Because truly, this map is based off up top control, but you can easily take it over with sniper. Because if you're up, say you're up there, right? Say you're up there, he's going to go pick that up with that try shot. You can't utilize that if you have a decent sniper on your team. He's going to lock that down, and... Yeah, they can't get his head there. You're not just you're just not gonna be able to use it. It's gonna be that simple. It's like I don't know why I can't talk and kill this bot at the same time. It's annoying. I'm the bot, but yeah, that's the big thing, guys. Is you like you're gonna want the correct weapons in your hand to win this this type of game, this type of game mode. Like that's gonna make a huge difference because once you have this, like I said, you can take up top. Now we're gonna go up top, right? We're gonna rotate up top. Now someone on your team can actually use this now. They're going to be able to mount up there as long as they want. They Lancer, they go back down. And anyone trying to, say, Lancer that guy to get the shots off them, you're going to have the sniper up top looking at anyone. Like I said, if you have a decent sniper on your team, which is not me, not against this guy at least, unpredictable movement, you're going to win. You're going to win. That's all that's going to matter. So... What I was talking about a little bit last time was map control. And that was by getting the right weapons and rotating up top to be able to control this area that you wanted to control. And pretty much by doing that, you're gonna be able to force like spawn traps and you're gonna be taking pieces of the map away where they can't go and they're not gonna be much to be able to do much about it because of the correct weapons you have. But a big thing that happens is, let's see if I can just, quickly show everyone how this works. I'm pretty sure 99% of you are going to know, but if you don't, this is definitely going to help you. Alright, so now I'm on a sniper ammo, right? You can see the timer up on that. You got 60 seconds till that sniper is back up. And that's going to matter because you don't want to go necessarily run down there right now to play for that sniper, but you're going to want that, say when it gets about eh, 30 seconds, that's when you want to start getting your setup ready. You're going to want to start to rotate. Um... Like I said, you're not going to be playing with a full team, so it's going to be hard to determine how it's going to happen. But if you're with one other like friend of yours, you two are going to want to rotate there together. You're going to want to get ready, set up, be in the right again map control, be in the right spots, be able to take that fight. Maybe grab that shot grenade that's going to be up into, and then you want to rotate there together, and you want to take this fight here because it's all about this entire game was about like weapon control and map control. That's all that matters. Now, lastly, I just want to talk about one other thing uh, before I get into it, actually. Uh, just if anyone doesn't know, by hitting this right here, it's like A for me, but it might be LB for you. I mean, it's just like your attack on. This guy's a warrior right here more than me. But, um, 
that's going to show you what's going on. So like, you can tell the sniper is up because it's it's highlighted. It's it's full white. You know, you can see things that are in gray, like that shock over there. It's on a timer with the timer counting down. That's when it's going to come back. But if it's gray and it doesn't have a timer, that means it's in play. So that's big to know. But lastly, the most important thing really is crossing. Crossing is huge for like so many reasons. The first thing is that might just give you the the amount of time you need. To like help your teammate win. Like, say your teammate's fighting that guy, like, that cross right there might help him get a one shot done. Might help him just win his fight in general for whatever reason it might be. Also, say he's fighting him, and I go, Boop! I shoot him one time, right? Now, say the other guy's right here, and he comes in and doesn't miss his shots like that. But he kills this guy, you're getting a limb for that. You're literally getting a limb for shooting this guy once, twice, whatever it be, might be. Helping your teammate win that fight, and just literally, it's. It's not even a forget that the fact that team effort for team aspect for a minute. You're gonna really get a limb, and this is how this game is like based by it's, it's eliminations. Like yeah, you have to win to really progress once you get to like onyx level, diamond level, but like the limbs matter so much, and just by crossing is gonna one help you win the game, and two help you rank up better. So please, everyone cross the game. Is, it literally incentivizes you to cross because you're gonna get literally a limbs. Even if you're not the guy on the front line slaying. So, just to re you know, recap everything, guys. Utilize back spawn. Don't be like down and out to get back spawn. Make sure you have map control because that's literally going to be everything in this game. And rotations are huge. If you're playing alone, see if the teammates that you, you can just tell by where they're going. See if they know what they're doing. If not, if you struggle with that, just always squad up with one person because you should be able to take these fights with at least two of you guys. Um, utilize the timer. So you know when to push for these things. You don't want to just be camping at snipe the whole time or whatever. And again, cross. Cross is huge. It's going to be huge for your team to win and for you to rank up faster. Um, just by the way they have the rank system in this game. So saying that, guys, I hope you stayed for the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments. I can go more in depth on each map, including this one, on how to play correctly. Um, just better strats. And... Uh, if you guys want me to do that, I'll go ahead and do each of the maps, whatever you guys want. Really, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate all of you guys. It means the world to me that you guys are supporting my channel. If anything I can do for you guys, hit me up on Twitter. This guy. Oh, I don't even know how that happened. See what I mean? I'm a bot and I got masters. But, uh, yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Let me know what you guys want. Um, I guess that's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.